Tanner Sending Boston, leaders of the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe met with lawmakers Monday at the Massachusetts State House for an inaugural Thanksgiving unity event, but questions about the tribe's financial state lingered on the heels of a Sunday meeting about the matter. Monday's planned gathering, which began at 11 a.m. and was co-hosted by the tribe and state representative David Vieira, R. East Falmouth was meant to unify Americans to look past the hate and division engulfing much of the nation, said Mashpee Wampanoag Tribe Council Chairman Cedric Cromwell. Representatives from the Tribal Council and the state legislature were among the attendees inside the Great Hall at the State House. We're just excited that today happened from a unification perspective, Cromwell said after the official ceremony. We're really focused on getting our trust lands and homeland rights intact for our people and we look to continue unifying and as we have differences we'll work through those differences. The event comes a day after tribe members were called to gather at tribal headquarters in Mashpee to discuss the state of its finances. A robocall that circulated Saturday and Sunday urging tribe members to attend Sunday's meeting claimed that its debt has burgeoned to more than $425 million and that critical social services and programs have been cut, including in the youth and elder departments. Listen to the robocall sent to Mashpee Wampanoag tribe members The call alleged that the debt, which is mostly financed by Genting Malaysia in backing the tribe's bid to build a $600 million casino is being used primarily for Mashpee Wampanoag Tribal Council salaries. Critics within the tribe have long questioned financial decisions, including incurring debt, by the tribe's leadership. On Monday, Cromwell declined to verify the debt amount, saying much of the information is proprietary, but said the tribe's leadership has received hundreds of millions of dollars in the interest of providing for tribal infrastructure. We have a great relationship with our investors in which they've invested lots of money in our tribe, he said. The tribe's annual operating budget is $12 million, he said. We're moving the needle a little bit to be more efficient, reducing some of our headcount because we simply can't afford it at our current burn rate, Cromwell said. Like any government, we've got to be fiscally responsible. Read previous stories about the tribe's casino plans. GabeCodeTimes.com Wampanoag The Mashpee Wampanoag Tribe's government headquarters includes about 17 departments, Cromwell said. He declined to say which departments will experience cuts as the tribe looks to tighten its belt. For more information, please follow the link below the video.